Canada is uh, sinking in the Transparency International Corruption Index. We've fallen under Justin Trudeau. I wonder why the CBC doesn't make a bigger deal about that. I suppose that's part of corruption, too, when the watchdogs are pacified. They're turned into lapdogs by paying them. You're pretty sure more corruption will happen if you pay off the journalists who are supposed to be watching. Randy Hillier is one guy who I don't think is corrupt. He's always been outspoken. He's already always criticized authority and power. That's why he was sacked by Doug Ford, kicked out of the provincial Ontario Conservative Party. Anyone who called out the lockdowns was. Randy Hillier just wouldn't bend the knee, not to Doug Ford, not to Trudeau, not to public health officials. He was noisy and he, gasp, wouldn't wear a mask. He was a friend of the truckers, which these days is the worst sin of all. So yesterday he was told by police to turn himself in at the Ottawa police, uh, police station. But of course he was. I mean, the shocking list of charges against him, including that he allegedly assaulted a police officer. Which is odd because you'd think that would be on camera somewhere. I've never seen it. Randy Hillier himself said he had no idea what that was even referring to. Apparently, it came out in the bail hearing yesterday that it was for this, seriously, for pushing open a gate that had been bizarrely placed in the way of pedestrians on Parliament Hill during the trucker convoy. For this? <laughs> he was charged with assault? Yeah. I mean, this is a stitch-up. Listen, we'll hear what the evidence is when the trial comes. Sounds pretty thin to me. Sounds like they've been waiting to take a run at Randy Hillier for a long time. He's mouthy. He criticizes everyone on all sides, including in his own party. And he gave moral support to the truckers. That's tantamount to terrorism, if you ask Justin Trudeau. I'm worried, though. Really, I am. Not just by the arrest and the obviously trumped-up charges assaulting police. And we'll talk in a minute about the bail conditions that the judge put on Randy Hillier. It's, it's unacceptable. It's like the bail conditions put on Tamara Litch, the trucker convoy founder. She may not criticize the government or any lockdowns or any mask mandates. She's just not allowed to. That's Putin stuff. That's Castro stuff. I'm upset by the arrest and by the bail conditions and the new role of the police as political police. But much more than that, I'm worried about the rest of us. The national reaction to this. The glee in the press corps, the jubilation amongst politicians of almost every party, by the way. Worse, of the silence of the so-called conservatives and so-called freedom groups, civil liberties groups, where are they? A politician was arrested on clearly exaggerated grounds, released on bail with a condition that he not criticize the government on social media. And this is taken as it's normal now? Just normal. Is it because of the Emergency Act and the banana republicification of Canada? It's now accepted that this is how it is now. The seizing of bank accounts, that's just how it is now. The police checkpoints in our capital city. The police being arbiters of political comments. Now, that's normal now? People being arrested for honking. Like this in Calgary. Hi, sir. Mocha with Rebel News. Are you guys getting a ticket for honking? For honking. For honking that right? guy. Sleep well. Piece of shit. What do you make of this? Yo, shit. Let's get some fucking freedom of rights. Yo, whether someone walked in their way or we just honk to say thank you. Absolute fucking shit. And you get a ticket for that. Yep. Yeah. It seems like you're not the only one. There are a couple of more Where's cars. Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Pull more people over. Absolute tyranny. Trudeau. Wow, that's unbelievable. Take care. What do you make of this? You just honked and now you're getting pulled over and Yes, he can't even he can't even tell me any more than oh there's an injunction. You can't you can't honk your horn. And I go, so you can't honk your horn ever? Well yeah, there's an injunction. So that was his excuse to me. Wow.
How much is the ticket? 89 bucks. Wow. So $81. For honking. And how much did you honk? Oh, uh, I don't know. You don't remember? That one there, I maybe honked three times. Well. Is, isn't this an interesting world, eh? It is. It is. It really is. So here. Yeah, that's $81 right there. Now you can't even honk your horn in Calgary. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.